the way I deal with me, they're still there in the industry, still flourishing, still bearing fruit. Let me tell you, it makes a difference. It makes a difference just to stay in there. Just to stay in there. You know, you hear somebody say, you know what? I'm not going to deal with this. I'll spell C R A P. I'm going to deal with this C R A P, not realizing that that C R A P is the fertilizer they need to grow. <laughs> If everything around you is comfortable the way you like it, you're not going to grow. You're just going to settle in. Everything's good. No, God has to put you in a place that's going to challenge you. They're going to confront you. You know, when you want to sharpen up a knife, what do you do? You take one of those, you know, steel dowels. I don't know what they're called. Knife sharpeners, I guess. It's like a steel dowel with a handle, and it's got those edges all the way up. And what do you do? You start banging it against that knife. <laughs> like that. Well, that's good when you, you know, you're holding the knife, but what if you are the knife? What if you can get the knife off? Ow! Ow! Stop it, you, you know, and then you start calling the names. Isn't that right? What are you doing? What are you doing? Sharpening you up. What's that? That's not even a knife. Look at that. That's not sharp. No, it's not intended to be sharp. This is going to take you sharp. Is that right? You all always want to turn around and say, what about you? What about you? You're not, you're not, you're not. And the Lord's saying, no, I'm working on you. I'm working on you. But what happens after you do that? And you scrape it up and you crank it out. Later on, somebody will pick it up. You know what they'll say? Hey, this knife is sharp. And that's what they'll do with you. You'll just stay there and stay there and stay there and let the Lord put you in the right environment.